In this video, we're going to learn about horizontal lines. Okay, the first thing I think we need to know is that this one's y and this one's x, the axes, right? We also need an origin. That's 0, 0, okay? That's important. We need some uh, fixed point of reference. So, the next thing we want to do is we want to know about these ends. This, these ends right here. Because that's, the line is drawn from this point to this point, or from this point to this point. Okay. But mathematically, we want to go from small to large. Okay. That's how we're going to do it. Okay. So, we can draw other points, like there's a point here and here. Points on the red line. And now that we have a few points like that, maybe we can find a pattern. Okay. So, points are X and Y. They come in X and Y. And on the X axis, we're going to erase this double zero here. On the x-axis, we got, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And on the y, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cool. So, let's look at that point right there. So, that's negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, this point is negative 2, 3. Remember, this is on the negative side. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. This point over here, right, that point's what? That's going to be 0 on the x and then 1, 2, 3. Okay, this one's going to be what? 2, 3. This point over here is what? 1, 2, 3, 3, 3. This point's over here is what? 5, 3. That's right. <clears throat> okay. Let's write them down. Negative 2, 3, and then we got 0, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, and then 5, 3. Hmm. Notice a pattern there? I think I do. Y's all the y's are 3. So y is equal to 3. So how is that? y is equal to 3. Hmm. Now, horizontal lines have a fixed value to them, right? A constant, a constant value. In this case, it's going to be 3. Basically, this red line hits at the x-axis of 3. So that's how you kind of know what the value of y is. Because you have a horizontal line. Okay, it's, it's very similar to the vertical lines. Wherever the vertical line hits on the x, that's the equation. In this case, it's what? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? x is equal to 9. But we're not doing vertical lines today. We're doing horizontal lines. Okay. Now, Y is drawn from where to where? It's drawn from here to here. Y is bounded by X in some fashion. Okay, and that's why we put the curly brackets on. So X kind of like controls how far Y goes. Okay, so we'll go from the smallest to the largest. So where is X? Minus 2. That's the smallest. And then this is the largest, right? 5. You didn't like that? In terms of like I can't understand. Look over here. That's the smallest value. And that's the largest value. Okay. So we can always look at the table. And then... It has to be less than, okay? Now, the dots, these dots, right? That all the dots, they are filled. 
So technically, you have to put less than or equal to. But in decimals, it doesn't really matter. Okay? It, it'll draw the line at negative 2. And if it's not, it's really, 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 really close to it. But maybe not there. Okay? Maybe at. 1.99999 or negative 1.9999999999 but not to 2 okay that's a different story okay let's move on let me change colors here oh I don't know let's do black now I got the formula right and the and the restrictions now I gotta draw it that's gonna be easy First, I need to know that this one's y, this one's x. I know that this point right here is 0, 0. I know that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can go to the left. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Right? And I can also go down. I'll only erase that double 0 for now. So y is equal to negative 3. Oh, where's the y? That's the y. And negative 3, well, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 is right here. So the line is horizontal at negative 3. Somewhere around there, right? But it's restricted. It's, restrict, it's restricted by x. It goes from negative 1 to 3. Okay. So... One way you can do this is you can do a table, x and y. We know y is negative 3, okay. And what's the smallest number that starts off at negative 1? Okay, negative 1, and then negative 2. Let me see, this is negative 1, negative 2. No, we're not going to the left of negative 1. We're going bigger. We're going this way, right? Hmm, okay, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay, okay. So, negative 1, and what's it right here? Negative 3. And then 0, negative 3, 0, negative 3. And then 1, negative 3. And then 2, right? Negative 3. Okay. And then... 3, negative 3, aha. Uh -huh. There's my line. It's not perfect. It's not a great horizontal line, but it's good enough. Now remember, we want to be super technical. These um, these ends are open circles. I'm not sure if your teacher is going to want that or not, but if we're decimals, it doesn't matter. It'll, and then remember, decimals won't create dots for you. It's just going to be a nice straight line. That's something to uh, to consider also. Okay, so let's try this guy right here. Let's see if I know how to draw it. Y is equal to zero. Hmm. Where's zero? Zero is right here for Y. And so the line is going to be on the axes. That's a horrible line, right? And where does it start? starts at negative 2 right here and then it goes to 1 so this is negative 1 0 and then to 1 and there it is the line is right here okay that was kind of fast wasn't it so again you can do x and y y is always what 0 uh -huh. it starts off at what negative 2 and then it goes to 1, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. Plot the points, and then draw the line. Okay? you got to be comfortable with doing some of these. Pretty soon you'll be drawing boxes and houses and who knows what. 